Swari Waza. Waza means technique and Swari means on your knees. And the way you move on your knees is a Thai Sabaki called Shiko. So every technique that we do in Aikido standing, we have to do on our knees in Swari Waza. Or with the Uke standing and the person throwing uh, on their knees, um, which is kind of how I do Aikido all the time because I'm so short. <laughs> so I will show you a few techniques from Swari Waza. We start out on our knees just facing each other and I ask her to do a showman, a, a head strike. I'm gonna move in for Ikkyo, first technique, Ikkyo. So I will show you as soon as I'm done how you walk in Swari Waza. Okay, so you start out in Seiza. This is called Seiza, our basic position. My feet are relaxed. The first thing I do is come up. You can do this with me if you want. Then I bring my feet together under my butt. I ease my way down. I bring my knees together, feet together, ease my way down. Knees together, feet together, ease my way down. Okay, and then to turn, I put both of my knees down and I turn. Okay, so if you're a catcher in baseball, you already know how to do this. Backwards is the same thing, right? So we can just walk around turning, right? Turning, moving backwards. Okay, so she could grab my wrist. Um, I could do Ikkyo again. She grabs my wrist here. I could move off the line, do Nikkyo, another mobilization. There's the pin that you saw before. If she's standing up, this is called Hamni Handachi, right? I do the same technique. She does a, an attack. I do the technique. That was Swari Waza and Hamni Handachi.